Okay, so today I want to talk about one specific thing, and that is the new Hilary Hahn recordings on the Suzuki book method. First of all, this is amazing. I'm so glad that Hilary Hahn decided to, or even agreed to, become one of the violinists for the recording. I think the Suzuki violin recordings needed an update, but in this video I'm going to talk about those recordings and what I think of them. So stick around. Hi, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. I do product reviews, how-to violin tutorials, and also vlogs. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so that way I can provide more value for you and create videos for you. So recently, I think as of this year, Hilary Hahn released a, a full set of recordings for Suzuki Book 1 on the violin. This is huge because we haven't had an update for Suzuki Violin Book 1 in a very long time. Alfred Publishing who owns the rights to Suzuki uh, violin methods, and I think for all the other methods for all the other instruments, decided, okay, wait, I think we need an update. And who better than to ask Hilary Hahn for these recordings? It's genius. For those of you who don't know who Hilary Hahn is, Hilary Hahn is this mega famous uh, superstar violinist. She's appeared with two set violin and she solos around the world, although I don't think she does so now because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Anyway, she is a phenomenal violinist. Even growing up, I listened to her recordings of Brahms, Stravinsky, Mozart. Those were um, some of the recordings that I just listened to growing up. And she still dominates the, the performance circuit today. Every orchestra is always in demand for her. And she's just an overall well-rounded, just a beautiful human being and player. So if you haven't done so already, search up some Hilary Hahn videos. It'll make your day. So why is it very exciting that we get this new update for Suzuki Violin Book 1 recordings? Well, first off, we just mentioned that it's Hilary Hahn doing the recordings. Second, it's because the recordings are very, very good. And I always found that the, that the Suzuki recordings of the past really didn't do the pieces justice. I think that there was always something lacking or that special quality in the music that we really never got in the old recordings. But in these recordings, it's really, it's really kind of a nice change of pace because what uh, Miss Hilary Hahn does is very musical with like Song of the Wind and May Song and Minuet One. They're not just Suzuki pieces. This is these pieces are actual music and she treats them as such. She shows every beginner Suzuki violinist that a simple melody can be very, very beautiful with dynamics, good intonation, you know, everything. It's so, it's so uh, refreshing to know that these recordings are out there and I, um, I already recommended them to all of my students because like you need to get these recordings. If I'm not around as a teacher, I need them to be listening to those recordings because they're so beautifully done, the quality is there, the musicality is there, and that's something that you really want as a, as a beginner violin student is to look up to something that is a really good quality and also kind of shows a really good example of musicianship because the recordings are not just for violin solo. The recordings are with violin and piano. So it really shows the, the communication and the collaboration between two instruments working harmoniously together. And as a young Suzuki student, this is very crucial. This is important because you're not going to be playing solo violin all the time. Although if you choose to, that's your choice. But you are more than likely going to be per performing and collaborating with a pianist. And it's important to play well with a pianist. I am married to a pianist, and I know that if uh, if I don't cue her in for a very important thing, I'm I'm done for. And if you're curious about how these recordings sound, I'm going to provide a link down below because they are really good. I think you get a sample, like a 30 second or 33 second sample of each song in Suzuki Book One. So make sure you check that out. I'll provide a link down below in the in the description so that way you can check it out. And just a side note, I'm not getting sponsored for this video. I'm not getting a commission for this video. So it would mean the world to me if you could hit the like button, if you could subscribe to the channel so that way I can continue providing more value for you and also just provide free information that you couldn't get elsewhere. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and don't forget to hit those bell notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.